too old for active service. But far from becoming an international laughing stock for keeping obsolete Skyhawks, the RNZIF uh, AF is earning kudos for its creative modernising of its old aircraft, as John Hart reports. The Royal New Zealand Air Force Base at Woodburn looks a humble setting for one of the big success stories in military aviation this year. But it's here in Blenheim that the RNZAF has stolen a big march on air forces right round the Pacific Basin. Traditionally, air forces spend shiploads of money on their fighters. It cost the Aussies billions to re-equip the RAAF with the Porsche of jet fighters, the F-18. By comparison, our A-4 Skyhawks are the Morris Oxfords of interceptors. The RNZAF bought them 17 years ago and has kept them flying into the late 1980s by lavishing care on them. But finally, the Skyhawks are just too long in the beak to continue as frontline aircraft. On the RNZAF's budget, we could afford a total of two F-18s. So the lateral thinkers and do-it-yourselfers in the Royal New Zealand Air Force got together and worked out a way of updating the venerable Skyhawks. And that's why today in Woodburn's hangars, Project Kahu is underway. Kahu is a $140 million refit that won't change the way our 22 Skyhawks look, but will gut them and rebuild them from the inside. And our team looked at uh, the other options, which were to buy new aeroplanes or second-hand aeroplanes from overseas. Generally, the cost of that was significantly higher than the cost of the update, and in a lot of cases with uh, not much more of a capability. So we are getting uh, almost as much capability as we would have had with uh, something like an F-16 aeroplane, but for a significantly lower price. The Skyhawks are being fitted with a heads-up display instrument system that projects the dials and gauges onto the windscreen directly in front of the pilot. So now pilots can concentrate on flying at treetop level at 1,000 kilometres an hour and keep tabs on their aircraft. The Skyhawks are also getting computer-controlled radars, inertial navigation and weapon systems. Out goes the old heavy, thick copper wire and in will go over 5,000 metres of new wiring loom for the new digital instruments. The weight saving is staggering. Changing the instruments will let the Skyhawks shed one-third of their present weight. New wings are being fitted since they're the part of the airplane that flexes most and wears out first. The Royal New Zealand Air Force came up with the ingenious redesign of the interior of the Skyhawk. They're using an American firm to draw it up and buy the black boxes that form the heart of the electronics package. And now at Woodburn, Air Force Base technicians are prototyping the design using three Skyhawks. That means they're stripping out the old bits and wires and making and fitting the new black boxes according to the contract drawings thereby checking that the plans are right before the remaining 19 Skyhawks are converted. It's really taking us a long way, both uh, mechanically and in the avionics world. Uh, mechanically, we've been asked to press and form and uh, create componentry that's uh, above and beyond what we're used to, so that's extending us. In the avionics field, it gets us into digital communications, and while that's uh, been uh, a feature of the Orion updates, it's new for us to be doing it uh, in association with a contractor directly and especially on the prototype. And the RNZAF is resorting to some ingenious cost-cutting do-it-yourself practices. This small aluminium connector box costs 5,000 American dollars to buy from the original maker. By making this connector box themselves, the RNZAF saves almost $4,500 per box. Project Kahu will be good for Blenheim and Hamilton. Pacific Aerospace in Hamilton will use the RNZAF-approved drawings to make the refit hardware and wiring. The Civilian Aircraft Maintenance Base for Safe Air has the contract for production line refitting of the Skyhawks. For them, it's Christmas on a stick. Oh, we're delighted. We've worked, um, we worked very hard to get the contract. And uh, when it was awarded to us, we were absolutely delighted because we, we as a company um, need this kind of stability in and this gives us stability for at least two years ahead. The Royal New Zealand Air Force rejuvenation of its Skyhawks is already attracting attention from those Air Forces with other old Skyhawks. Many of them recognize that the New Zealand Skyhawks will be serving us well into the 1990s for a fraction of the cost of buying a replacement fighter, new or used. So there's a strong possibility that those other Air Forces might bring heaps of export dollars and their old Skyhawks here for refitting. 
Already, Singapore has sent observers to Blenheim to see the RNZAF's project Kahu, which is turning battered old Skyhawks into high-bargain, high-tech ground-attack fighters for the next decade.